Time for my dogs on the south side, two times for the west and the east coast. Two times for you hoes on the snake shit. Lot of hollow tips, gotta go to the people. Put the sand where they at, they ain't wanna shit. Too divine and the with the beat though. They can't take nothing from me. Uh, no. One time for my dogs on the south side. Yeah. Yeah, you ready? Yeah, yeah. let's get it. You ready? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. You ready? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, get your yeah, ass back, bro. Let's get your nah, ass back, cause you ain't ready. You ain't never ready. Oh man. You ain't, you ain't never ready. Nah, 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 nah. Get your ass back to that bench, boy. Yeah, man. Welcome to Ass Back Moment of the Week, guys. Uh, you know, every week we got a worthy candidate for you guys. We're worthy this week, if you ask me. This is what we do, do it for, for bro. bro. Man, look. Let me just start telling you what happened, and uh, you, you guys probably already heard. Um, guys over here take. I mean, I, I get it, bro. We all maybe do it to it's some scale. scale, some way more, more than, than others. others. This guy, bro, taking away from the poor. It's different when you poor and take away, but it's different when you rich and got money and still taking from the poor. Mm-hmm. This guy, bro, got caught up taking welfare money. He's a real reverse Robin Hood. <laughs> Oh man, he 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 was taking welfare money, bro, to help build a volleyball center for his daughter's college. I'm talking about you, Brett Favre, one of the greatest to ever do it. All that dirt that they used to talk about Brett Favre in the days, bro, and then everybody would just sweep it under the rug because he was so talented. I remember that story with that one female that came out. They kept calling her the uh-huh. the the uh, Brett Favre girlfriend. Well, that's a whole different story. But anyways, like I said, this goes back to the state auditors, bro. Uh, they misspent at least $77 million in welfare funds in the largest case of public fraud in Mississippi history. They even got text messages between the two. Brett Favre a- asking them, uh, if you were to pay me, is there any way in the media can find out where it came from and how much? He asked in 2017. They go, we've never had that information publicized. So, I mean, there's a few texts that I'll show and I'll post here that y'all can go ahead and read because it's a lot, bro. It's a lot. And I don't got too much time to go over it all. You're going to have to just read a bit. Mm -hmm. But the most important thing is, bro, that the lawsuit didn't actually include the uh, volleyball center, actually. It did not include it. But, what he did have to do is uh, last year, Favre paid 600000 to the state of Mississippi <whistles> for a speech he had never paid, you know, he had never gave. Mm-hmm. Also, he received $1.1 million, uh, in 2017 18 to promote state poverty fighting initiative. But that also the auditors reported that he initially gave 500,000 of that amount back but now earlier this month he was asked to pay the remaining back plus interest they're getting Brett Favre bro for all the shit that he used to do dog this dude was doing some dirt bro dash, yeah. some dirt hey the 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 uh you know the way uh well, I don't know if your mom ever used to say this but uh my mom used to always say La mentira dura mientras la verdad llega. E. Well, yeah, that's... Brett Favre, get, get your ass, ass back, bro. Because <laughs> <laughs> what my homie over here said. <laughs> oh, man, this is crazy, dog. You can't make this shit up. Yeah, for real. But yeah, bro, who you got this week? Man. Calling out my boy Jerry over in Jerry World. <laughs> I think it's time for you to step down, Jerry. You're starting to make some harsh decisions. And I'm starting to question it, man. Like, I question Joe Biden being our president. Oh, like that? Yeah. Oh. It might have a little dementia going on. <laughs> a little. <laughs> this is full blown. My boy Jerry wants to rush Dak back. Week six. Week six against the Eagles. I don't know if that's such a good idea, Jerry. We don't have the offensive line we've had the past, you know, a couple of years. Uh, man, and, uh, bro, I mean, honestly, see, like, we're missing a center. 
but Connor Williams just posted the highest PFF grade. Connor, uh, Connor, he's hurt. No, I, I, I get it, but I'm saying he still posted the highest rating as a center, and he was our left guard. Makes no sense why we never played him at center. You know what I mean? Like, if he had those talents, you know, we never tried him out anywhere else. I don't know. But, man, we just be making some questionable decisions lately. You know, like, I mean, trading Amari Cooper. Obviously, it looked like we missed him against uh, Tampa Bay. We didn't have the passing game that we had last year. Um, we went from the number one passing game to the 32nd ranked passing game. Like, how, do, how the fuck does that happen in Below an offseason, the Jerry? Like Are you serious? I swear. Davis Mills? Mm-hmm. Out there, Dak? Yep. Damn, bro, y'all might want to look into a new quarterback. We I in the know, business, bro. too. I don't know. We'll trade y'all Dak, bro. <laughs> we'll probably do better with him. Nah, man, but uh, yeah, Jerry, man, I think it's time for you to step down, man. Give somebody else that general manager position, man. Let Will McClay take over, bro. You have Will McClay making all your decisions and stuff like that, man. Let that man... Take over, be your general manager, and let him give him more power, bro. And I guarantee you, we're gonna start winning some Super Bowl. Just step down, Jerry. Just Even step the down. coach. Just step down. Let the coach do what he wants to do. Ain't nobody scared of Mike McCarthy. Yeah, for real. Nobody. Yeah. Nobody. Because and it's all they, they know. Fault. Yeah, because they know Jerry's daddy. Yep. You know what I mean? They, they're gonna do what Jerry says. As you long know? As cool with Jerry. Like, you gotta go, bro. Gotta get your ass back. Get your ass back up in that booth and, and shut, shut the, the fuck, fuck up and, and let the fucking coach coach and let, let the, the players play. Jerry Jones, you get my ass back of the week. Damn, man. Yeah. yeah. But don't forget to start at that like button, sack that subscribe button, dunk your A. Hey, hey, man, where the fuck are y'all going, bro? I've been telling y'all, man, I've been telling y'all, get your ass back and hit that subscribe button, man. And make sure y'all also slap uh, it. Also, 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 if y'all hit that subscribe button, man, enable the notifications for me, man, so y'all can know when we post our shorts or videos, man. Uh, but don't forget to start at that like button, sack that subscribe button, and get your ass back and dunk your comment down below. Yeah, yeah. This is Macho Sports Flex. Check it out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Check it out. Work again, what goes around comes around, cycle continuing. Mind on my money, I'm all about dividends. Only catch flights to you, all of your feelings, kid. Bumping tips and JR know that they feeling it. All in their mouth like a feeling is. Go bring a dentist in. I've been tuned in like I'm off of that riddling. Hop in that booth and start riddling. Any-